Happy birthday, Pisces. It's your season. I know you're like, I know she just didn't quit tarot right before our turn up. No, I just, We Are Magic is not a tarot channel. It's about waking people up to the God within them. You know that. I've been, I've been saying this, Pisces. And, you know, the time has come. You know, I created the channel for that. So I got to start posting different things beside tarot. But we'll still play with tarot. We love tarot. Okay. All right, I've already channeled your energy. It's very exciting. Nervous almost. There's just a lot going here in my chest. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's a like, oh my God, oh my God, excitement. So I don't know what's going on with y'all guys, but let's see what's going on. But yeah, I, I really feel like some of you are super excited. Now I'm happy. Someone, Pisces, what the fuck is, okay. Happy birthday to my, well, happy Pisces. Her birthday's already passed. The happy Queen Pisces Stasia Day season. I gotta give a shout out to my niece because she is the Queen Pisces. Shout out to Makosi. Her birthday was on 222. Shout out to Christina, Jerry, the Pisces, the Super Faye. Shout out, I have so many Pisces friends. A shout out to, you know, Corey is a Virgo, but she is a whole Pisces moon, so... Um, it's not your birthday, but boo, I know you are celebrating the season with the Pisces. So there's so many Pisces in my life and I know I'm going to annoy a lot of y'all that didn't, I didn't shout y'all out, but I'm so sorry. I just love y'all. All right. So this is your soul truth awareness for your season. I was just, it was this thing in my chest. I had to get it out. Like y'all are excited. What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? Makosi, are you just going to change the whole collective for Pisces? I guess you are. She is a authentic Zulu shaman. She's a spiritual healer, teacher, life coach, bad bitch. She's out here literally Aset, a.k.a. Isis, a.k.a. Ishtar, a.k.a. that bitch. That's who she is. Yeah, I called your whole higher self out. But yeah, like, re I mean, she's out here just changing lives. I'm so proud of the girl. Anyway. How does your relationship with money affect your current situation? Do you believe you are worthy? Do you believe you are capable? Do you trust money? Does money trust you, Pisces? So what I'm feeling is, for some of you, not all of you, because a lot of you Pisces know that money is not evil. It's actually an energy, a currency. It's just part of a system to help you get stuff so you can survive in earth school. But for some of us, in this reading, you are indoctrinated so much about money that money is a root of, they've taught us to hate money. They've taught us to hate millionaires. They've taught us to hate rich people. And when I say they, I mean, you know, the religion, religious system. And just to be mindful, that system who pushes that agenda has the most money in the world. So, so just be mindful when you listen to these really, you know, wealthy preachers telling you that money is the root of all evil or the love of money is the root of all evil as they fly off into their private jet that they bought with that money. Just think about it. Okay. It's, they got us in the first half. Looks like your higher self's working with you. Three, three, three. Just saw it in the phone. All right. So after I said all that, now we're going to read this. Money is an energy. What did I just say? It ebbs and flows. You are worthy of it all, Pisces. And it's your responsibility, your responsibility, your responsibility. It is your responsibility to heal your relationship with money as a part of your waking up to the whole of you and your purpose. I just finally, 46 years, I just finally broke my money block to where I don't have an issue with money at all. I see money as Lakshmi, my sister. I see ISIS, you know, I see money as um, something that benefits me and helps me get what I want. I don't want to be broke. Who wants to not pay bills? Who wants to struggle? Oh, that's right, because only the poor inherit the kingdom of heaven. Bullshit. If y'all don't throw that, delete that whole program. They played y'all. They played us. Remember, I told you I just broke it for 46 years <clears throat> later. Take a deep dive in your soul belief system around money. See? 444 just all on the phone. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting most in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time for a sacred shift? My right ear started ringing. 
What will your next chapter be, Pisces? Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because now if you have a problem saying that you have a block and you got to work on it. If you feel the tightness in your chest, you feel sick to your stomach, you feel stressed out, you feel instantly ir like irritated, agitated. When I say this, I am grateful to money. Don't say God. Don't say God. This is how you're going to know you have a block. I am grateful to money because blank. It's an energy. Remember that all energy, including money, whatever you touch, taste, feel, see, everything out here is energy. This is energy. This is energy. Energy, right? It's a whole energetic system we're playing. We're just playing a role. We're just avatars like in a computer game or a uh, you know, console game. Anyway, all energy is connected to who? God or source or creator, or the universal mind, or the all, mother, father, God, all energy is connected to that energy. They are all out here as you living a human experience. So when you die and you face your higher self, you know, say when you have to face God, when you face your higher self as yourself and you're like, what? You mean I could have done this, 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 this in that incarnation and I didn't know any better because I thought it was an honor to be poor and fucking sick and miserable. Yeah. Your higher self is saying, time to wake up. I'm not living this life anymore with you. We are going to live our best life here. We have a purpose here. All right. So yeah. Fill in the blank. I am grateful to money because do it. That's your assignment. We are going to break this money block on you, Pisces. Okay. Whoo. That was intense. All right. Let's see what. Chakra is opening up for you. What energy center, what activation is happening for you this season? Okay. Spirit, thank you for showing Pisces what block is messing with their life. Okay. What messages do you have for Pisces? What act? Whoop. What activation is opening up? What portal? Got to warm them up, guys. <laughs> there we go. Now, you see what I did. You see what I did, Pisces. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. So, guess, guess, guess. Prosperity. Prosperity. Money has to be unblocked. So what, what you cannot make this up, Pisces. Thank Mikosi and Christina and Jerry. I'm telling you, they're working on something. All right. Cause they're, they're like, if I'm winning all the Pisces gang winning, cause I, I refuse. The frequency of prosperity supports our, feel, our feeling of well-being by allowing the inclusion of everything that makes our body, mind, heart, soul, and spirit sing. It invites us to express ourselves in joy and celebration of the abundance and riches that the universe provides, not the devil. The universe provides you stuff in abundance, Pisces. This is your card. Look how pretty. See, look, you know why she's a bad bitch? Because she loves money. She's like, hey, I got all this going on. I got this awesome ass... <laughs> I got this awesome ass mermaid outfit. I'm out here killing these bitches because I'm abundant. Because I don't hate abundance. Who would do that? How? How? Okay, Pisces. See money as Lakshmi. Why would you hate Lakshmi? Right? She's beautiful. The beautiful, beautiful goddess. All right. Let's see what Moonology has for you. I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing these tarot readings because my purpose is not the tarot. My purpose is to wake people up. So I also do it through tarot readings. See this as a coaching session, a free one. All right. Minology deck. What messages do you have for Pisces? Remember, this is energy. Got to respect the whole gang. If you saw everything as divine. Would you abuse it? Of course not. It wouldn't be litter on the ground. Okay. 
Pisces, Pisces, guidance for Pisces. I mean, okay, okay. <laughs> Nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Yeah, if you're like worried about something, just cut it out. If you're in a situation, Pisces, okay, this is what Spirit just said to me. Nothing will come of this situation if you hate money. If nothing's coming of it. You're just going to say broke, busted, and disgusted. In debt. All because you have a low-key fear because of that high-key religion that told you if you have money, you are going to hell. Rich people can't get in the, It's harder for a camel to get through an eye of a needle for a rich man to get into the kingdom of heaven. The fuck? They play this. Again, they have money. They're telling you don't like money because they want to keep you in the worker mode. They need workers. Okay? They need workers out here. Pay them their homage, right? Wake up. They're telling me to pull one more. Okay. I'm just out here. Whatever y'all want. What do you want to tell Pisces? I see a theme. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Yes. And because you're listening to Auntie Crystal, um, the end of a tough cycle approaches. Well, there you go. You know why the end of uh, Capricorn? You know who loves money? Capricorn. Capricorn don't got no beef with money. Capricorn loves money. Capricorn loves, I need money. I like that shit. Give it to me. I want more. Right? They don't run away from money. They run to it. <laughs> so, Pisces. Um, the end of a tough cycle approach is full moon and Capricorn. You got, you know, when you got Saturn coming through saying, hey, I said what I said. Nothing will come of this situation. I promise you, they're really trying. Communication is key. Communication is key. I don't know why I put it all the way over here. Communication is key. Communicate what you feel. Say it. Claim it. Take your fucking power back is what I was just told. For a lot of you, you already have. Shout out to, you know, the ladies I mentioned earlier. But yes, you, your words have power. Okay? Your words have power. And that's why they say, you know, watch what you say. And they really have superpower when you have emotion attached to those words that you say out your mouth. When you have the emotion attached to it. Now you're manifesting something a whole lot quicker than you want to, especially if it's not for your highest good is what I'm hearing. Okay. So the negative talk, the bitterness, you know, emotions are real, feel them, heal them, go through it. Okay. I did a video about how to transmute negative emotions for positive results. Right. It was a cool thing. So yeah, anytime you have a negative thought, Pisces, um, just, Think of the future you want. Think of how blessed you are. Think about how strong you are. Okay? All right. Divine abundance. Let's go. Divine abundance for Pisces. What are the, what's their divine abundance message? Oh, yes. Yes. Gratitude. Always give gratitude. This what. Definitely open up the blessings to rain down on you, right? <laughs> that blood's ringing down in Callie's hand. <laughs> Pavardi, by the way. Um, fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. This is exactly how I feel about Pavardi and Durga and Kali and Shakti. I am so grateful to all my aspects. I'm so grateful to the wisdom that I receive from their life experiences and everything that they've learned. I am so grateful that I am a vehicle for them so they can live their best fucking life on this planet. Period, Pooh. Gratitude. Tell the divine you are grateful for the lessons. You are grateful for everything they've brought you through. You are grateful for the things that they're, that they're showing you and your future and what's to come. It's a beautiful time. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let me, uh, I want to go ahead and just get all of the oracles out of the way and then we can just go into tarot. So I'm being told to pull the romance angels to see what's going on in the love life of the crew. Remember, this is a collective Pisces reading. Some of this stuff may not resonate. So far as a whole, the money's resonating. 
the money is resonating for the collective. So let's just keep the vibe spirit. Collective message for Pisces. Let your friends help you. Ask for... <laughs> so funny. Ask for and accept support from others, Pisces. You're doing too much. All right, so you're out here doing the most. So for the romance angels to come out and tell you that, I said, I want a collective romance reading for them. And what did they say? There it is right there. Let your friends help you. And you know, I'm not lying. You're trying to do it all by yourself, Pisces. I know you. You're basically Scorpios. So, yeah. All right, tarot. Let's go. Excited. Let's see what's happening. We did a Celtic cross. Somehow. I'm going to move these cards. I'm going to shift them a different way. I'm out of room. Yeah, we don't need them. We know what the message is. Communicate your vision. Fall in love with money. It's an energy. It's beautiful. It's from the divine. Stop believing those messages that they say that money is evil or love of money is evil while they themselves have money. Doesn't make any sense. Now does it? Pisces, don't let them play you. Okay? I love you. All right. Pisces, 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 tuning into Pisces. I've already shuffled these before I started the video, but I think I'm going to start just shuffling all the cards before all my videos, Pisces. Yeah, we're chatting it up. And um, just start going in like this. At least do this in front of the camera. But all the extra shuffling, I'm not going to do that anymore because it takes up a lot of time in the video. And y'all want to get to your reading because you're busy. I'm going to start posting my podcasts on YouTube because I know a lot. I mean, I don't follow podcasts on the Spotify. So I'll turn YouTube on and just listen and wash dishes or do whatever. So, yeah. All right, Pisces. Oh, the star. Look how you coming in in your season. Healed, refreshed, anointed, the baddest Aquarius energy. Um, have faith in the future, Pisces, because it's bright. Dreams come true, Bobos. Positive changes, like you stopping the hatred of money. I saw 1717. Positive changes that bring an end to challenging times. The light at the end of the tunnel. Told you. The hard times coming to an end, Pisces. Just listen to spirit. Your challenge. Oh, the nine of pentacles. Why is spirit telling on you? I know this is, does not apply to you, Candace. I know that. You don't got to say that. Okay. This not, does not apply to you either, Christina Jerry. I know. Okay. My friends are coming through my spirit right now. Um, this is a challenge for them. So the Pisces, <laughs> time steps. The Pisces that I'm talking about that broke the money block from their life are prospering so fucking hard right now. They're, this is the life they're living. They're enjoying the fruits of their labor. Like they are at this place. For the Pisces that are watching that has the money block, this is your challenge. And this is what you're having a challenge with. Enjoying the fruits of your labor. Um, hard work that has led to a luxurious life. You're working hard, but your life is not luxurious. Um, you're challenged with buying yourself something special. Um, challenged with being happily and success successfully self-employed. Can't be happily and successfully self-employed if you hate money. Pisces. And enjoying your solitude, your challenges that also. You have the star energy changes are coming. So you just break that money block, okay? Your strength, your foundation. Queen of swords, Libra energy. Um, you're brilliant, Pisces. Um, your experience, you're humorous. You are judgmental, but it's funny though. I love Pisces. <laughs> I love the villains, okay? I don't know why they make y'all out like... You're the sweetest little mermaids on the planet. Like I said, mermaids are vicious. Um, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. She's cutting them. She's like Callie. She's slicing the heads off of these motherfuckers that try it, right? Good for you, Pisces. Um, you see the humor in difficult situations. Just starting to laugh at things. You're like, okay. <laughs> Hilarious. You have me hating money. Look at that. Um, you're focusing on your career. Good for you. Money. I see why this is popping up. And... Some of you are divorced and just learning to love yourself again. So bravo. All right. Good card. I know a lot of people don't like the queen of swords. I low key love her in like the best way possible. Cause I'm a Scorpio. 
What's crowning your energy? What are you thinking about? Ooh, look what came through. The high priestess, the most intuitive card. Are you thinking about your higher calling, my love? Are you getting downloads from the universe? Have you integrated your higher self, my loves? Meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire, cancer card. This is not the time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts. Learn how to not hate the energy of abundance. Um, and trust the wisdom you receive from Auntie Crystal. Okay. All right. So recent past, you had the Knight of Cups coming through. Okay. So um, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, falling in love, being swept off your feet. A sudden love affair, like someone coming in trying to boo you up. Someone could be trying to make you an offer, you know, something very creative. Um, some of you had a lack of balance in a relationship. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter, like loving abundance. I'm going to keep pushing this. A love of art and poetry. Beautiful. Near future. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. There's the money. It's not moving, though. But he's planning because they want you to stop and heal that shit before you move. Don't make another step, Pisces. Not you, Makosi and Christina Jerry, because again, you ladies are winning the fuck out of Earth School. Bravo. But yes, loyal, dedicated, protective. This is also a guardian angel energy, by the way. Um, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action. Listen to your higher guidance, your high priestess. Um, Pay attention to details, guys. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. I love it. Okay, your attitude is the seven of wands. Standing up for yourself. Taking your power back. You're like, fuck this shit. Tired of living the broke, bus the broke busted, disgusted ass, energetic life. It's gross. I don't vibe with this energy. I'm a Pisces. Where is my beamer? Okay. Stand up for yourself and, and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power. But also choose your battles wisely. Yes, my loves. I saw 2211 when I saw that. Oh, your environment though, right? Your environment, victory. Your environment, wise choices that bring public recognition and success. Congratulations, Christina Jerry and um, Makosi. Because here you go. That's your environment right now. This is how everybody sees you. They're like, look at them winning Earth School. Just being the baddest. Just out here, right? Victory, wise choices that bring public recognition and success, promotion, awards, or scholarships. Beautiful. All right. <sighs> hopes and fears. And the reason why it's called hopes and fears is because it's one and the same. It's an energy of excitement, right? And act like this is the energy in your chest. When you're excited, like when you're afraid of something, you get this exciting feeling of fear, right? It's an excitement. It's something that boils over. When you're hopeful for something, when you're excited about something, you get that little energetic thing coming through, right? Again, guard your thoughts. Don't know who that was for. Oh, hopes and fears. Awakening. This is the hanged man in tarot, which is you, Pisces. So this is your hopes and slash or fears. A temporary pause for reflection and insight. An awakening where you see things in a whole new light, Pisces. This is so beautiful. Embrace your own mermaid uniqueness. Charitable actions. So you're pausing. You're seeing things in a whole new light. You realize like, wait a minute. Money's not the root of all evil. The love of money is not the root of all evil. What's the root of all evil is being broke, being sick, Believing that it's okay to accept being less than, that's the root of all evil. The indoctrination is the root of all evil. It's the program that's the root of all evil. Not Pisces, not the energy of abundance. You deserve that, okay? Don't be afraid of stopping and going within and healing yourself. There's nothing wrong with going backwards and healing everything that was within you that did not align with your highest purpose. Get rid of that shit so you can move forward and live your best fucking life. Outcome, transformation, boom. You don't have a choice. The tower. The tower. Pisces got the tower. Because it's not a bad thing. Tower is transformation. Renewal of your mind. Like old belief systems. This is when you find out religion played you. 
that you are a God, that you are divine, that you have been bamboozled, hogwashed, all that shit. Okay. Anyway, or hog, who'd wake the dirt, whatever the fuck they call it. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made, like your attitude with money. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, like, oh my God, money is energy and I can be blessed with it and it's from God. Breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. Oh, yeah, let's do some clarification. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. All right, right here is, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have the nine of swords, which is unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophe prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion. This is what, this is the energy that you had around what? Financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life. And then you have the queen of cups, loving, compassionate, psychic, self-sacrificing, deep psychic insights, calling for others, or sorry, caring for others, but forgetting to take care of your own damn self and following your heart. Guys, your issue around money needs a fix, a pronto, okay? All right, here we go. So the star is clarified by the seven of cups. Make a choice. This is a universe saying you can have it all, but what do you want? And you say, D all of it. No, one at a time. Don't be greedy, okay? Stop procrastinating and overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options, okay? Um, what's the challenge for your, um, nine of pentacles, you accepting money, you accepting the challenge, the clarifying of that is ego. And you know what that is? The devil card. Okay. So the illusion of being trapped, right? The illusion of being broke, the illusion of being sick. The illusion of being less than. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness and abundance, okay? Addictions or unhealthy habits. So this, the seven is an addiction card and can be an addiction card and this can be an addiction card. So that could be your challenge that you are addicted to a way of thinking. You could be addicted to food. You could be addicted. Oh, that's what it is. Thank you, spirit. So the love of money is the root of all evil is ingrained in your brain, right? What it is, is the love of addictions is the root to all evil, meaning overdoing every damn thing. Okay. The addictive behavior, the over indulgence behavior where too much of a good thing, right? Having too much money is not evil. All right. It's how you use it is what works and how you want to where it becomes a positive influence or a negative energy, right? So that's what you have to work on for some of you, not all of you. Okay. Your foundation with the queen of swords is the 10 of cups. Okay. So a happy marriage, happily ever, that's the clarification, happily ever after emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, Raising children wisely, people you can trust. Beautiful, because you cut out the shit. All right, so clarifying your thoughts, the high priestess with the downloads and the intuition, you also have the two of pentacles. This is why you really need your higher guidance. You're working too hard. Remember, calling friends for help. That, this one. Yeah, I left them on top. Okay. Working too hard. Or multiple jobs, the need to bring balance and fun into your life, Pisces. Juggling multiple priorities, balancing a budget. Woo! Facts, I felt that. And then the Knight of Cups is clarified by the Emperor, Aries Energy. Um, logic organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation. Accept a leadership role, structure, and discipline. So um, you being introspective with the lack in your relationship that was you taking control of the situation. Um, you brought structure and discipline in your recent past back into your life due to the multiple things that were going on. And then clarifying your Knight of Pentacles being, you know, calm about making your money is going to be clarified by the Knight of Swords. So it's funny how some of you are, you know, pausing. And then some of you are chasing after what you want, right? 
And what I'm feeling like is, because they're both is saying stay focused, right? Stay focused. Um, trust your instincts. Listen to your higher self. Um, but it's events that require immediate action. So with that being said, take your time and focus on what you want to do. That's you going within and then take action once you know what you need to do. Okay. Stay focused is the main thing right here. You defending yourself, you know why you're defending yourself because you have judgment renewal clarifying that. And that's where you reviewed the past with compassion and forgiveness, stood up for yourself. You have confidence now and you're heading into a new direction, right? Awesome. Awesome. I'm getting hot. I'm feeling the energy. You're getting clarity on your life purpose and your heart. You know what to do, Pisces. You fucking know what to do. All right. So your environment with the six of wands, you know, victory, celebration, wise choices um, is because you listen to your intuition. Um, you paid attention to the signs of the divine. Um, you didn't listen to the unnecessary worry. You let go of your fears and you received the revelations that made everything clear. And the reason why you're taking a pause with the awakening card, the hopes and fears, you know, awakening or the hanged man is clarified by the three of pentacles, right? So you're doing what you love instead of just paying the bills. You're like, you know what? I know what I'm passionate about. I'm doing what makes me fucking happy. I'm not going to work myself to the bone. I'm going to listen to my higher self. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to love myself. I saw 3131. I heard him cozy. And I don't have to kill myself to get what I want, I can ebb and fucking flow. And that's exactly what you're doing. So yeah, um, recognition for your highest quality of work. That is your hope. Um, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft. Beautiful. Working well with others. You may be working with others. You may be um, joining little groups, having little tribes, you know, making new friends, doing things, partnerships, excellent reputation. Beautiful. That is your hope. Beautiful. It's funny how it yin yanged. This came out yin yang. Very Pisces of you. Good job. Oh, and transformation is clarified by the Sagittarius energy balance. Yes. Yes, my love. Temperance card. Blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary. Successful compromise, the power of diversity, self control, patience, and balance is your outcome for this season. So clarifying the nine of swords, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling. This is past energy. This is like showing me why you're in this situation. Expecting the worst, um, allowing worry to grow out of proportion, insomnia, no sleep, um, restless thoughts, refocus your thoughts um, is the dreamer clarification. I told you this, yin yanging like crazy. It is yin yanging. You're going to see in a minute. A new start. This is the full card. Trust yourself, Pisces. You push past your fears and you took a leap of faith. Good for you, baby. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, the Abundance card. This is the Powerball card and this <laughs> for abundance, right? Just financial stability um, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. Told you it's yin-yanging. It's crazy. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. This is what you used to be. I'm telling you. It's fear surrounding money. For some of you, you're like this now. You're in this energy because of the fears surrounding money. It's that block, right? Reach out to others for assistance. I'm telling you, the reason why some of your self-employment is not working out in the same, same as mine. Everything I do in We Are Magic, yeah, I sell merchandise. I do things like that, but I don't have money coming in like that yet because I had a bad mindset around money, right? Just giving up myself. Like these tarot cards, Readings take energy. These are free readings. People charge money for these, but you can get them free on YouTube, right? So it's just, yeah, it's just, it was my energy. It was how I felt about money it was whack. And then the queen of cups, I mean, you're blocked by blocking. Why, when you blocked yourself, oh, wow. Well, when you blocked yourself being <laughs> unable or unwilling to make a decision, you were like, no, I, I'm, I don't like the way this makes me feel. I feel like it's, I'm telling you, it's that indoctrination bullshit. Follow your own heart rather than trying to make others happy, Pisces. Do what you want to do, which is this. Open your heart up. This is cancer energy again. You could be a lot of cancer in here. Um, again, 
if you block this, you block this, the psychic, the self deep psychic insights. You're going to block your deep psychic insights is what they're telling me. If you don't open that heart up and just be open to the universe, don't fight it. Just go with it. Okay. Everything that happens is a beautiful lesson for us to live our best life. And then clarifying the whole damn thing at the end is the six of cups. Beautiful energy, Scorpio energy. Um, yeah, you had Scorpio in here. You've had Capricorn in here. You had Aries in here. Um, you twice the moon and the hangman. Um, <clears throat> a lot of beautiful energy in here, but yeah. Um, children or childhood revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child. And that's how I'm going to end this shit. This has nothing to do with a fucking ex. I feel no ex reading in here. This was a pure healing collective from the divine tarot reading, giving you priceless advice on what you need to do to change your life, Pisces. So you can live the best fucking life. You got to change your mind. You got to reprogram that stuff. Okay. Revisiting old dreams of the past, um, romanticizing on how things used to be. You could have a return of people or romances from your past. You could, I'm not going to deny that. But what I'm saying, this main thing was not about your people from the past. This is about you. This was a you focused reading. What are you doing to change your life? That's all I'm feeling. And I love you. And thank you for watching. Have a great season. Go make that fucking money. I love you. Happy birthday. Have a good one. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.